Ooh. Oh. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I actually have an update for you guys that I've been waiting over a year to talk about. Not necessarily because I was just like sitting on this information, but because what we're going to talk about happened a year ago and kind of left a lot of questions up in the air. Oh, before we get into this though, I wanted to thank Brogan so much for joining my Patreon. Really appreciate that. If you want to join my Patreon, I have it linked down below. So if you've been with my channel since December 2018, you will probably remember this video where I talk about my Afonopelma Samani having a really bad molt. Her name is Bubbles and I still talk about her to this day because you guys still ask me about her to this day. I'll give you like a really quick brief summary of what happened but I'll also link the video down below just in case you haven't seen it. But essentially one day I noticed that my Afonopelma Samani was in full-blown death curl just totally motionless. I remember I even picked up the enclosure kind of shook it a little bit and she didn't react at all so I was like she died. Now, at the time that that had happened, I had never had a tarantula die yet. So I wasn't sure what I was going to do with her. I had never preserved one or anything like that. So I decided to just leave her in her enclosure overnight. And I thought, okay, I'll just deal with it tomorrow morning and we'll see. So the next morning when I got up, I didn't even look. I just, I was really busy. I had a bunch of things to do. So I went and I did them. And then later that day when I returned, I noticed that she was alive and she had molted, which was totally like not expected at all. Like I'm telling you, she 1000% seemed dead when I found her. So when I noticed that she molted, I also noticed that it was a really bad molt. She had some weird looking legs in the back and her abdomen was small and kind of it just didn't look normal. It wasn't fuzzy. And there was also a big hunk of mold stuck on her abdomen. So I did what I could do and I ended up trying to remove the mold, which I successfully did. However, in the process, I noticed that she had an injury to her abdomen, but I ended up patching it with cornstarch. So before I patched it with cornstarch, it seemed like her abdomen was leaking and she was walking really strange. She couldn't really walk right. Once I patched her abdomen and over a series of days, she actually began to finally walk normal and she also ate for us. So the cornstarch I never had to repatch, her abdomen held up fine, but I did notice that it did not look right. And also there was just a weird little, it was a weird little mark on her abdomen. It, I, I'm not really sure how to describe it. It kind of looked like a scab, but anyway, that is the general overview of what happened. Like I said, the full video is down below. So that molt happened in December, 2018. And then one year later in December, 2019, so last month, she actually molted again, which is a molt that I had been anxiously awaiting for for an entire year because I was curious how it was going to go after that horrible one. So it didn't go as well as we had hoped, but it could have been worse. I haven't gotten a really good look at her yet, but I do have her next to me and we're going to do that now because I did notice she has finally left her burrow. This will be the first time I'm looking at her since she left her burrow. When I first noticed that she had molted, I was really happy and it looked like everything went well, but I was a little nervous because I noticed her abdomen was still kind of sitting on top of the molt. So I thought maybe she just molted and she just flipped back around. Maybe it's not stuck. Maybe she's just sitting on it and she'll walk away and, and it'll be done. That's unfortunately not the case. I noticed later on when I checked on her again that she was on the other side of her burrow and the molt had followed her. So it definitely had to be attached somewhere. And it it's so hard to see in her burrow because she is like, at the very, very bottom. I can't really dig her out. I didn't have access to her. This burrow is really difficult to get in. And since she had just molted, I didn't want to disturb her. Like I would only disturb them at that point if it was an immediate thing. Eventually I noticed that the molt broke off from the abdomen part. So the part that's stuck on her abdomen is still stuck on her abdomen, but the entirety of the molt, like the rest of it, fortunately broke away. So there's still a part that's like attached to her abdomen from what I can tell. So I think the old injury obviously didn't molt out the way that I had hoped. It's not a hundred percent, but if you know when injuries happen to tarantulas, like lost limbs, you know that it can sometimes take a couple molts to regenerate that limb completely. They'll kind of regenerate smaller, weirder versions of body parts until a few molts down the line. I'm hoping that's the case here. Originally, I was really concerned that it was her spinnerets that were connected to the molt because I wasn't sure if she would be able to poop because that's where their butt is. <laughs> From what I can tell, it looks like the spinneret parts 
both came off and I'm thinking there's just a little piece of abdomen stuck to her where that injury was and I'm hoping that not necessarily that it'll come off because I think that that might be what's keeping her abdomen like sealed but I'm hoping that it's just a little piece that just kind of breaks off just to that little piece that's actually stuck because if that full abdomen piece is going to be on, it concerns me that she will get spooked or just from generally like walking around in her enclosure that it could keep pulling that molt until it rips her abdomen again. So that's like my biggest concern at this point. I don't believe there's anything else wrong. She seems actually really doing well considering. But yeah, it's there's definitely a piece stuck and it looks to be the exact same area of her abdomen where it was stuck last time. Will she survive this? I do not know, but I think she will. I would like to see her eat, which I think we're gonna go ahead and try that as well. Sorry this intro is so long. It's just a lot of context, a lot to talk about, a lot has happened, and I just kinda wanna fill you guys in so that you know. So yeah, I guess that's it. Let's just get into it and see, take a look at the extent of damage, see if there's anything I can do for her, and let's go. Okay, so it actually makes me really nervous to remove this lid because her legs are actually on the lid. All right, here we are. Great, so now we can get a better look. So it does look like her back legs are still kind of weird looking. There it is though, oh no, it's still stuck right under her, do you see that? So there is actually where her molt went wrong last time. This brown part right there. Yeah, this is really not good. This is actually a little bit worse than I was expecting because I thought a lot of that part had fallen off, but it actually looks like it's still stuck under her. The biggest concern is her getting afraid and taking off and then that part getting stuck on something and ripping her abdomen open. Her spinnerets also look weird. If you notice, one of them actually looks a different color than the other. Here's a better look at the piece that's stuck under her. Ideally, it would be great if I could trim it with like some scissors, but I don't feel like she's gonna let me do that. I wonder if I could just like snip it a little bit, and I'm not sure how these crossed spinnerets are going to affect her. I almost feel like one of them might actually still have molt stuck on it. And I don't know how she's going to poop exactly. Like I think she should be able to, but it's so hard to tell. Oh, this is not good. We've all been rooting for her for a year. So this is actually pretty sad that it's not how we wanted. Okay, so I actually think I might go in and just try to clip this little part. Let me, this makes me so nervous. got this little piece off so I mean that's something let's see if we can just go a little bit more oh oh see that is what I'm worried about I don't want her to pull on it but at least we got that one piece off I mean it's there's still a considerable amount stuck my hope is that it'll come off so I guess let's see if she'll eat and just try Yay! So she is eating. That's a really good sign. I wasn't really expecting her to do that so soon, so that is really good. Hopefully that means this isn't as bad as it looks. But I don't know. I, I can't I can't tell. I can't get a really good look. I think what I might do is I'll wait for her to just harden up a little bit more and see if any more pieces break off, and then I will probably go ahead and do a pinch grab somewhere down the line and take a better look and just clip off any pieces that aren't like directly attached to her. And I think if I do that, everything will be okay, but it does concern me that her spinneret is crossed like that. 
I'm hoping it will not black her and cause any sort of impaction issues, but that is something I will be checking with a paintbrush regularly, so I'm going to monitor it. So that's my game plan for now. If you have any suggestions on this, please comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. I definitely always appreciate to hear those, so let me know. Also, while she is eating, we have Living Impaired Studio. So this is Dustin. He's been subscribed for quite a while and he sent me a package before. And last time he had actually painted some figures and we're gonna see what this is because I think he did more. Oh, wow. So I remember last time he had sent a smaller version of this and a little figure so yeah he does these himself i believe oh wow i love this one look at that and this is pretty tight i'll have to hide this from my daughter because she'll probably try stealing that <laughs> thank you so much dustin i really appreciate it you did a really good job on them this one i think is my favorite it's so cool look at those fangs <laughs> I just noticed he left me a note and it says arachnid showcase two and then bonus brain jar for husband, unicorn for kiddo. Got it. <laughs> I never know how to shut these. These are my husband's knives. One day though, like I think I'm gonna take my finger off. How do you... <laughs> I bet I'm making you guys so nervous. Am I? No. Okay, I give up. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon linked below and I will see you guys soon. <laughs>